the best uh, idea we can give you is to look at uh, your idea of a sports bar. And when you walk in, there are many different screens and there could be 20 different games playing and you get to choose which one you watch. Uh, you get to choose which one you interact with. You get to choose which one you are imagining. And you may even talk to other humans about the same one and you can go back and forth. You can watch one and you can go look at the other one. So when the idea of when you fully embody or you fully incarnate into the physical vessel, from the higher state and the ego takes the back seat the ego will become the personal assistant it will become the focuser it will become the task doer it will become the one that makes sure that you are on time but it does not control you with time and so what your reality will look like is what state of being you are so what state do you choose what state are you vibrating at and you get to choose you see third dimension you believe you're creating your own reality but if you do not have access to your own free will then you are only creating the reality of the world is allowing you to create. You're only uh, creating the reality of the simulation is allowing you to. And you will see that even those that are extremely rich and powerful in the third dimension are still only doing what they are allowed to do. And their power card could get taken at any moment because they're not vibrating sovereign beingness. And so when you are vibrating sovereign beingness, it is a choose your own adventure game. Choose your own adventure means, well, what what, what is the greatest form? of your imagination what can you dream up because what you can dream up is what you can live as christ said I, I, you will do much more than i do and we have heard him say that many times and so he knew that when we finally got a hold of this true 5d concept of embodiment of the christ energy which is our full uh full embodiment of our spirit within the body well not full spirit but the part of the spirit that can be contained in a physical body because you are obviously all that is but the part that can be contained in the physical body will be uh, a very powerful uh, being and so you will be able to jump timelines uh, very easy uh, but that is going to be more of your six dimensional reality about kind of jumping back and forth what you are really excited about for your 50 reality is to live the seeds and dreams of your heart to fully live those dreams that are buried in there to live it to play it to be it to see it to feel it to taste it to touch it to experience a, a life that is unified and love-based instead of ego and separation uh, that is prosperity and connection and expansion where relationships expand they do not contract where love grows where one tree turns into an orchard these are what you're most looking forward to so if you can find the state of being that truly is your highest joy not your ego joy, your urges, your passions, your cravings, but your highest spirit joy, which is deep within your heart. If you can follow that, it will feel so unrealistic to you. But if you can follow that, that will be the state. That will be the movie screen that you are looking at at the sports bar, even though there is millions of other ones playing. And you will live it and you will play with it. And other people that are in relation to that particular vibration will play with you. Your playground will become very big almost like a puzzle piece connecting to other puzzle pieces and you will create a unified consciousness much like your collective consciousness that is in fear you will create a unified consciousness of bliss and joy and prosperity where you are all on your own territory you are all kings and queens you are all god and no one is jealous or envious of anyone else because you have all that you could ever desire and you wouldn't want anyone else's version because you made it up perfectly as you desire now how will this be possible when the world is as it is well, there's many different timelines of Earth that are happening right now. And you can only see the timeline that you are focused on. And so if the Earth feels impossible to change by you, well, that means that you haven't moved up the level. So think of, of a big skyscraper and you are on the first or third floor and you're saying, oh, gosh, this is horrible. I hope that I hope the 10th floor is better than this. But you understand that that is what you're doing is you're moving up vibration. You're moving in. Uh, you're moving density out of your bodies. You're moving density out of your mind. You're breaking away from collective mainstream ideas and you're beginning to think from the higher mind and not the hive mind. The hive mind is collective consciousness where you believe that you are here to pay bills and die. But the higher mind is connected to the divinity of infinite possibilities, the quantum mind. And this is where you get to make it up based on what you're looking at, what you're thinking about, what you're living, what you're doing, what you're having. And you get to be it before you see it. And this will change your state of being. And so your life will 
be happening completely different than someone down the street. Someone down the street could be losing everything and you are attaining everything. And it's just the vibration of shifting worlds, shifting worlds, shifting timelines. And then you find the one that is your sweet spot and you own it and you live it and you be it and you grow it and you thrive in it. You all do not understand what it is like to thrive yet. You are dreaming of it, but it will be almost a it would be more too difficult for your human brain to conceive what true thriving feels like. And so let your heart lead here. Do not try to think about it. Just find the state of being. Follow your highest joy, even if it seems ridiculous, even if you don't have the skill sets, even if you don't have the financial power ever to attain it. Follow your highest joy because that is your home state. And you are all working your way back to your home state. And it's going to be unique in its flavor as you all have a, a very specific soul that makes up your branch of the collective tree of God. And remember, you are all alchemists. And so you are here to take the fertilizer that you sit in and you are here to make something beautiful and grow something beautiful out of it. And we say in many of our transmissions, it is time to bear fruit, which means it is time to be, it is time to embody, it is time to demonstrate the love that is in your heart. Stop hiding it. Uh, the world will uh, move out of the way when you own your own vibration. And with that, we are complete.